Okay, um, here we go again, all right? Um, first thing I'm gonna do right here, this is U substitution number two, by the way, and that's the abbreviation, okay? We're just gonna yank that constant out, just like always. Several ways you could tackle this problem, but since we're learning U substitution, that's the way we're gonna do it, okay? No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Get another piece of paper under there. All right, cool. Okay, so uh, what I want to do is I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pick. Um, usually, picking something inside the parentheses is a good way to go. I'm not gonna say that it works every time, but it is a pretty good time. Okay, so du. Well, what's the derivative of this du x business? Well, that's just one, isn't it? Okay, so I'll multiply both sides by dx. Oops, didn't get it on the page. You know me. So in this case, du is just equal to dx. So du is equal to dx. Okay. I'm going to put a little box around that little guy right there. Okay, so when I rewrite this thing, I'm going to write 3. Remember, we're coming from up here. Okay, and I'm just going to write, what am I going to do? u to the negative 2. And dx is equal to du, so all I gotta do is write du. Now I'm in a situation where all my uh, variables are the same, my du is the same as my u in here, so we can go ahead and start, uh, we can start integrating. So this is just gonna be u to the negative two plus one over negative two plus one plus c. Okay, so that's gonna equal three u to the negative one over u to the negative one plus c. Okay, so let's see here. Let's simplify this some more and we got, what do we have? We just have, I'm gonna go back to purple. Negative three over what, u plus c? And what's u equal to? x minus two, okay negative 3 over x minus 2 plus c. Okay, we found our antiderivative and we did it pretty easy. Okay, let's see if, uh, let's differentiate this, uh, this dude, this hog, whatever you want to call it, and see what happens. So let's differentiate this. Let's pull the negative 3 out, multiply it by d, dx, 1 over one over that guy and let's see what we get okay well we can actually just rewrite this again to the negative one so let's just um, go ahead and we'll just take the negative one out negative three x minus two don't forget about the uh, little deal up there that's negative two so what's that equal to? That equals positive 3 x minus 2 squared or actually heck let's just um, okay let's just write it like that because that's the exact same thing as we had in our original answer isn't it? Okay right there I hope you see that so you know it's not too bad, not too bad, is it? You know we just uh, we just you know um, it, it it's just kind of trial and error. These are some easy ones, you know, and um, bada bing, bada boom. So um, yeah. Any questions? All right. Well, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next U substitution video, or you know anything else. So let me know if uh, you need any additional help, and I'll be glad to do it.